Hey guys, today Apple released a lot of new products and in this video I'm going to be going over what they actually released, what you can expect, and just some of the new features of the devices that they released and giving you an overview of the actual release. So basically today, which is July 20th, 2011, Apple released four main products. First off, they released a Thunderbolt display. And then they released a new MacBook Air, then they released a new Mac Mini, and they finally released OS X Lion. And I'm going to be going through each of those individually, um, giving you the specs and what is actually new in all of them, and then giving you my thoughts on the devices. So first off, Apple actually announced a Thunderbolt display. Basically what the Thunderbolt display is, is a 27-inch 2560 by 1440 LED backlit display. It's going to have a FaceTime HD camera, high quality audio, three USB ports, a FireWire 800 port, a gigabit Ethernet port, and integrated speakers and a MagSafe for a laptop to charge it. And it's going to have a single speedy display port hookup. Finally, it's going to have a Thunderbolt port to make it a plug and play hub for everything you do. Essentially, it is a giant monitor that you can hook up any Mac laptop to and just make it a way bigger monitor. It's very, very nice, has all those ports, so you can pretty much make your laptop into a desktop. This is going to cost you $999, $999 when it is released in six to eight weeks. So that's the Thunderbolt display. I think it's pretty cool. I do think it's very, very overpriced though. But anyways, that's what actually was released with that. Next off, I'm going to be going through the MacBook Air. Basically, Apple released a new MacBook Air today, which replaces the MacBook White, basically. So it, basically, what is updated in this new device is it has new Intel Core i5 and i7 processors, which are much faster. Supposedly, Apple is saying it's 2.5 times the amount of processing power, but we're going to have to wait and see about that. It's going to have either a 1.6 gigahertz or a 1.7 gigahertz processor based on what model that you get. And you can either have 2 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is very good. Um, there are two models, an 11.6 inch and a 13 inch model, just like last time. They both have LED displays and both have 64 gigabytes of flash storage that you can upgrade to 128 or 256 I believe. Next they also have a Thunderbolt port for connecting external displays, hard drives or other Thunderbolt supported devices. It's going to have a backlit keyboard which is very nice compared to my Mac right now. It's going to have a multi-touch trackpad, stereo speakers, FaceTime camera which is not actually HD which is surprising to me um, but hopefully they update that in the future and it has a high resolution display as I said before. The battery is going to last five to seven hours just like last time and standby mode will last up to 30 days without recharging. Ports on this device, it's going to have a Thunderbolt port, two USB ports, headphone jack, microphone, and the larger larger version, the 13 inch, actually has an SD card slot. So that is the new MacBook Air. It's going to run OS X Lion when you purchase it from now on and it starts at $999 which is a great deal. That's what I bought my laptop for. So that's the new MacBook Air. If you want one, definitely check it out. Um, next, there is a new MacBook Mini, or Mac Mini, as I said before. Um, basically, this they haven't updated this too much, but they did update the specs. Basically, the, dev the design is seamless, which means it's exactly the same, except Apple eliminated the optical drive, so no more optical drive. They've also ditched the internal power source, so now you only have a cord running to your, from your wall to your device. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, Apple also says this device is two times faster, which we're going to have to wait and see about. Um, it does have a Thunderbolt connector. It's got faster processors. You can either get a 2.3 gigahertz or a 2.5 gigahertz model with an Intel Core i5 or an even faster 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i7. And it does have updated graphics. Um, they also included a removable panel so that you can upgrade your memory as you wish. Other than that, it's going to come stocked with OS X Lion again. And it's going to cost you $599 to start. So that's the Mac Mini. And lastly, OS X Lion. Today, Apple released OS X Lion. It's available in the Mac App Store for $29.99. And it's eventually going to be available on a bootable flash drive starting next month for $69. Also, a full list of features can be found on Apple's website for all of these products. 
including Lion. So if you want to see more details, definitely check out Apple.com. Link will be in the description. Um, and you can see all the details on all of these products. But basically, that is what was released by Apple today, guys. Hopefully, you like this video. Um, video reviews on the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini will be coming soon, later this week. I will also have OSX Lion reviews up today or tomorrow. I am filming from OSX Lion right now, um, so they will be up soon. So stay tuned for all of that. I will be going over all of the new features of Lion individually. So definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe so you don't miss those. Um, and also rate thumbs up and favorite this video uh, just to give me some support. So thanks for that, guys. And again, as I said, subscribe so you don't miss more videos. I make lots of videos like this. And finally, I am giving away a free copy of OSX Lion on July 27th, which is a week from today. So stay tuned and check out the link below if you wish to enter. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, bookmark my website, like my Facebook fan page, and bookmark my gaming or subscribe to my gaming channel all in the description as well. So check out all that information in the description. And I will be coming at you with some more reviews on the MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and OS X Lion later this week. Peace.